Now, they also mentioned, you know, pretty much uninstalling any apps that you don't use anymore. So in order to do this, you want to go into your start menu. You want to go back into your settings. You want to click apps, go into apps and features. And when you're here, you basically want to sift through and find any apps that you're currently not using. Now, these can, you know, range from maybe an app like about some random thing. It can go all the way up to maybe like an app about a thing that you had to download for class one time, then you have to delete it now. Whatever the case is, there's a lot of things you can do to delete. And this is another massive thing I would recommend you to do. Just simply by uninstalling all those apps you're not using is like the number one thing I would recommend all of you to do. I've done it time and time again, and it is really the number one option I would recommend you to do. Now, finally, another thing you can do that can quickly save up a bunch of storage is to literally move your files from your current, you know, PC to an external hard drive. Now, this may seem like a no brainer, but again, this is another option you have and I would highly recommend you to do it. So what you want to do is purchase some external hard drive or whatever the case is. And I'll leave one link down below that I've used personally. You guys can get it from that link below and help support the channel at the same time. But what I do is I go ahead and purchase it. I think it was like a terabyte. I'll go ahead and plug it in straight to my PC. And I'll go ahead and just literally, if I have any video files, songs, or whatever that I still need, but I don't want to use right now, I'll just go ahead and throw them over onto that drive. And I can just still use those files and access those files, but they're just on an external drive. I know a lot of people who do this with any games that they may have. So they'll just throw out all of their games on their external hard drive, and then they'll still play those games from their external hard drive. But, you know, they'll just not be on the actual PC itself. When you run out of a lot of storage on your device, this can run into a ton of problems for you. So literally by doing this, as I mentioned before, it is like the number one thing I would recommend you to do is simply just go ahead, purchase an external hard drive. You may already have one and then just drag and drop all that external storage stuff that you have and then drag and drop all those extra files that you have onto that external hard drive and pretty much move on from there. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.